Here's your test on uh, all the average person ever needs to know about the eight parts of speech. Uh, before I get into the test, at a penka, that was person. I, when I watched my video, I realized I was saying student. Uh, at first, I said all the average person ever needs to know about uh, whatever, uh, grammar. And I changed it to Addisafranca, all the average student of foreign language ever needs to know. It doesn't matter. That's kind of just for fun anyway. All right, now the test. Uh, I get a piece of paper, lined piece of paper. Make sure the holes are on the left-hand side. Uh, put uh, your name on the left-hand side, and on the same line on the right-hand side, put, uh, put today's date. Uh, is this November 11th, uh, 4th? Well... Whatever it is, uh, and with the year, I always tell my students what I when I would teach when I was teaching. I would say, "You set it up like this with a date and keep it neat." I'll give you an extra point for that. Oh, and I can't remember if I had told you or not that I I, I tell them if they change their mind about something to just strike it out with a single line. So it's called striking out, no problem at all. I think I told you that earlier in the year. Anyway, they can do that to their heart's content. But if they blob something out, if they blob it out, that makes a mess. And, and I'll, I won't give them that extra point. I think I told you that. All right, here we go. Uh, uh, I would say pause in between each one of these because I don't want to take a long time uploading this. You, you just pause till you get the answer. What are the eight parts of speech? Pause. All right, that would be eight points. Uh, Number, uh, I, I go, I make this very easy, I go a very logical way. Uh, be number nine, uh, uh, what am I defining if I say uh, this is a word that names? Pause. Number two, uh, ten, what am I defining if I say this is a word that shows action or state of being? Pause. Number, I'm just going to say three because I'm, I'm, go I'm going through the eight again. Uh, uh, we'll go up to eight three times. Uh, so number three, what am I defining if I say this is a word that modifies a noun or a pronoun? Pause. Number four, what am I defining if I say this is a word that modifies a verb, an adjective, or another adverb? Get it? Another adverb. Number five, uh, what am I defining if I say this is a word that takes the place of a noun or nouns? Number six, what am I defining if I say this is a word that joins? Number seven, what am I defining if I say this is a word that begins a prepositional phrase? And uh, number uh, eight, what am I defining if, uh, if I say uh, uh, this is a word that shows feeling and stands alone? All right, that's going, we've gone up to eight twice. I think I'll, I'll, I'll make it even easier for you. Uh, uh, here we go again. Uh, I'll give you the test. You tell me what I'm testing for. What am I testing for if I say, does it name something? Is it a pronoun? Uh, number two, what am I testing for if I say, can it change? Does it change with time? Does it work in today I blank, yesterday I blank, I have blank? Number three. What am I testing for if I say, um, does it ask or answer one of these five questions? How many, how much, whose, what kind of, how many, how much, whose, or which one? Number uh, four, what am I testing for if I say, does it ask or answer one of these four questions? How, when, where, or why? Number five, uh, what am I testing for if I say, um, Is it taking the place of a noun? And is it on the list? Uh, number six. What am I testing for uh, if I say, is it joining something? Is it on the list? Uh, number seven. What am I testing for if I say, uh, does it begin a prepositional phrase? Is it on the list? And does it begin a prepositional phrase? And number eight, uh, what am I testing for if I say, does it show feeling? Can it stand alone? All right, uh, up to eight we go again. Number one, what is the test for a noun? Number two, 
What is the test for a verb? You probably have to pause because you, you're writing this out. Number three, what is the test for an adjective? What is the five? Four, what is the test for an adverb? Number five, what is the test for uh, a pronoun? Number six, what is the test for uh, a conjunction? Number seven, what is the test for a preposition? And what is the test, uh, number eight, what is the test for an interjection? There, uh, four times eight, that would be 32 points. I hope you, I hope you aced it. Uh, I, guess, I guess come Monday I'll, I'll run by these answers. Yes, I will. Uh, come Monday I'll do that. All right, now I'm going to now go on to the chronological survey. That's it for uh, grammar this week.